Greetings everyone. In this tutorial, we will see that how we can use Cityscape dataset for segmentation of different objects. In the Cityscape dataset, there are different objects like cars, roads, persons, bikes, etc. First, we will see how we have to download the dataset. For that, we will go to Cityscape website and from there, we will download two datasets. One is the annotation dataset and other is the image dataset. For the annotation dataset, we will download gtfine uh, folder from there and for the image dataset, we will da download left image 8. So first we have to place the dataset in a particular format. Let me show you that if we have a data folder, that data folder should have two folder inside. One is annotation folder and other is image folder. The annotation folder have three folder inside test train well and similarly the image folder also have three folder inside test train validation it means that in data folder we have two folder and in those in each those each field of folder we have further three folder next we have to import some of the packages such as plotting uh, numpy pillow library image function torch functions to use that data set, we need a data loader. Uh, luckily, we have a data loader built in a torch vision that with the name of Cityscape. So we'll, we will use that. So I have imported the packages and next I will use the Cityscape data set. And here I pass the path of my data and I will pass that I am using train data set currently mod equal to find let me show you that what that means for that we have to go to the download section and first we have to log in there hopefully i'm not uh, writing my credentials wrong okay uh, we, we have downloaded this gt find and this one uh, the find mean we are using this annotation when we type uh, course here instead of find we are using this annotation and we actually haven't downloaded that so i am passing fine which show that we are using this annotations okay let me call that and then uh, the first one is the uh, number of image and second one is the image and then if i have changed if i change zero to one in second place it will show me the mask or segment okay let me plot that here I can see that this is my uh, input image and this is the segment of that image. It's actually basically a grayscale. So, but you have seen that in uh, Cityscape uh, dataset, there these are actually colored segments. So we will see that later. First, before going to see that, we have to see that how, uh, what are the label information, what are the classes in the Cityscape dataset let me open that link here we can see that if we go down we see we can see that there are basically different objects such as unlabeled wall fence bridge funnel pole bicycle car rich person sky but if we see that in category we can see that there are category as white category as flat construction object we are going to ignore all the categories uh, with the train ID 255. You can also train on them, but uh, as the official Cityscape, I believe this is the official Cityscape script, says that it's better if you ignore that and keep only the dominant classes such as uh, vehicle, which is it, and ignore the out of ROI, static, dynamic, and this type of. Uh, categories so I have uh, used some uh, utility functions to do that which I have taken from this repository first we will ignore the index 255 which we have taken from here and next we have classes uh, that void class that we are not using these classes which I have taken from here from the ID and these are classes which are valid we are using that I will tell you later why I'm using the ignore index that class 255 as valid class instead of white class. 
and my class names are here uh, starting from a road bicycle and there is unlabeled which is corresponding to ignore index so the purpose is that from here we, we have 19 classes plus one one is the uh, you can take it as background or all the other classes apart from those 19 classes because we have some extra annotation which we are not using but we have like let think it is a binary problem that we have a person in us in a image and the rest is the background so we have to segment both person from the background so in our case we are segmenting these 19 classes and we are also segmenting the background which is the 20th class so i have places created a class map that 255 class denote to zero index a zero uh, label or then seven denote to one label because we have removed some of the classes so we have to rectify the rest of the classes so similarly we have 33 classes class number 33 which is actually a valid class we denote it to class 90 so we have rectified the our class label after we have removed some of the classes so the next thing is that as i have told earlier that when we see on cityscape data set or anywhere we see those colors so we are actually taking the colors uh, from uh, defining the color and we will, then we will map these colors to our classes we can find this color even from here let go uh, a far, step further we have a uh, let keep that just as a duplicate okay let's keep that we have an encode segment segment map function which actually do that remove the unwanted classes and assign them as label to 55 and rectify the rest of the classes as uh, shown here in class map then we have another utility function which i have taken from this link here uh this uh actually outdated uh, package or repository i think it has been updated around the three year or four year back and it's using Tosh version which even you can't install it using 0 0.20 it's very outdated one out last time it's updated in 2018 or near that so i was telling you that if we have a grayscale image we can use this function to convert it into a color this is the utility function that i have taken from the link shown and now what we have to do is that our image size is 1024 uh, into 2024 i believe so we have to reduce it so that our g we can fit it into our gpu so i have resized it into 256 by 5 i have applied uh, actually an augmentation technique you can also apply other augmentation from the augmentation uh, package the reason to use uh, augmentation package is that we can apply a transformation or augmentation both on image as well as on its mask for example uh, if we, i have flipped the image i have to also flip the mask also here we have normalized the normalize the image and convert it to tensor the next thing is that we have to uh, apply the elbomentation to our uh, cityscape scapes data set let me go to the torch cityscapes for a torch cityscapes and i have uh, let me open that here you can see that uh, if we go down to this below i can see that i have a function get item where i can see that i have another uh, argument if self to transform is not none image comma target is equal to self to transform what i have done is that i inherited this class cityscape and modify this get item function uh, this is just i copied this function from here this i just copied this and put it in here and in uh, self pro transform is not known i have applied the uh, elbomentation of transformation so now we can get uh, the elbomentation let me rerun these i don't 
so where I have run that let me restart and run till here so I can show you it will be a quick thing so I have augmented all I have imported all I have run all these cells and I have a pass my transform transformation to the transform argument of the class which I have inherited from the Cityscape class. Uh, let me run that. This is the size of the image 3 comma 256 into 512 and the size of the segment is 256 into 512 and uh, let me show you that this is how it looks like. This is actually are normalized uh, so it doesn't look that way as in the real image. So if we can see that we have actually these classes in our segment that is 1, 2, 3 and uh, 5, 6, 7, 9 is missing, 10 is missing. But we have to make it in correct order starting from 0 and end up to 20. So let me, we have encoded that and here we can see that start from 0 and up to 19. This make actually 20 classes and let do coloring that if we have uh, the corrected segment and we have to color it let me run that and we can see that this is the corrected segment and when we color that it look like this way this is part one in the next part we will see that how we can do the training of this part